This is the beach in Aberdeen, Freetown, Sierra Leone, and it's just so beautiful, man. Yo, it's just so beautiful, and it's quiet today for some reason. Um, yeah, usually it's like quite packed. Now this beach is two minutes away from where we stayed. I enjoy coming here during the afternoons to, you know, relax in the sun, keep my feet in and just take a walk and just relax, you know, during the day when my dad was away and my brother was in the house. So I just wanted to share this beautiful view with you guys. Today, this particular day, it was really, really quiet and I was wondering why. But I noticed you guys don't like swimming here. Is it because it's dirty or? Some people like swimming. Okay. But mostly people came around the weekends. You know? Oh yeah. During the week is uh, working and all that. Yeah. Like to school. Okay. Like tomorrow and Sunday. Uh huh. You cannot say you see a lot of people. Some swim. This is Lomli. The infamous Lomli. This is Lomli Place Choice. Mm -hmm. Children Village. Freetown. Freetown's the biggest city. Yes. <laughs> you have to fall slightly. That's what? Two and a half dollars. Sure. You're crazy. I think I'll pay that for this. <laughs> I said, no, it's a little. She just showed me some fake uh, um, stuff. This place is the military barracks. Ah, yes. The first, the first battalion. Yes, I think we. I came through here from uh, C. To this um university back home. It's, it's kind of like the one in Santa. It's the same that design. The one in Santa. I've never seen it. Okay. You've seen the one in Santa. Uh -uh. It's amazing, amazing, amazing view. Now we took a drive to the mountain top, close to where the satellites were, and this amazing, breathtaking view just blew my mind. Okay, now I was just blown away. You could literally see the city view from the top top of the mountain. So I really, really enjoyed this, and I hope you enjoyed this too.
We then took a drive through Ufura Bay College. It is one of the oldest universities in Africa. Now, I was really impressed. It was a massive high learning institution. Everything was well maintained. And yeah, it was really nice to see what universities they have over there. These are the ships that carry the fuel, electricity and so on. So that's the port right there. And a view of the city. Okay guys, so we are right in the middle of town um, in the city center as you can see this is like the biggest bank in the city So this is Freetown Let's walk. Let's walk. Go. Huh? This side. This side. Oh, okay. Here's another statue. Wallace Johnson. This is the town. Town of Sierra Leone Upper House Police Headquarters and this right here So this is the cotton tree This is a famous cotton tree that you've most probably heard of where the slaves came basically to pay homage and to signify their independence and freedom. This is right at the center of this lovely, lovely place. Cool. We then quickly popped in to say hi to my dad. Later on that day, we just had lunch, but it was nice to see the place, nice to see where, where he actually worked. And yeah, I was really impressed.
Now, this drive was really, really nice and refreshing for me. We went to the outskirts of Makeni. Now, Makeni is largely known for planting trees and uh, producing the palm oil. So, it was nice to see and I learned that it's close to borders such as Guinea and Liberia. This one is taking you to the tree. Go mm -hmm. Kenima and Kailao. Right. Mm -hmm. this, right. yeah, this one on the right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when we went to Boya, we, yeah. mm -hmm. this one is going to Kloko, mm -hmm. Gambia, mm -hmm. and Kaine. Now, I'm not sure what all that noise was about. I guess uh, someone important was passing through. But then again, welcome to Africa. So on our way to Makeni, we found a local restaurant. and We decided, why not just pull over and have something to eat? I was actually surprised when I came across the menu. I saw some East African dishes. We saw chapati, we saw ugali. Uh, we saw Sadza, a Zimbabwean um, meal there, and then the prices were not so bad. They ranged between 2 to $3. Well, I opted to try out the cassava leaves with the rice. The rice is very different to the rice that I'm used to is in Southern Africa, but it wasn't bad nonetheless. My family as well tried out the local uh, meals, and we're all happy. So if you are wanting to go out there, do try the local restaurants. You will not be disappointed. Once our bellies were full, we decided why not head over back to the house and prepare to go to the beach. But it was really refreshing. I enjoyed eating the fresh fruit and just, you know, mingling with the locals there. They're very friendly, very nice. Um, yeah, it's really affordable. So I really, really, really like that a lot. Welcome to Tokyo. Now this place was absolutely amazing you guys. Oh my gosh, I was just blown away. So this place was called the Palace Resort. Now the beach here was just crystal clear. It's completely different to what I saw in Aberdeen. The beaches are so beautiful, the water is so beautiful, the sand, like everything was just top notch. So I was really, really excited to see what I had in store. The welcome drinks, the bars you can see, everything was just amazing. And it was, it just made it a beautiful, beautiful experience for me. Cool. 
Then close to Tokyo, we went to beach number two, and it's called number two. It was really packed this day. It seems to be a favorite amongst the locals there and the tourists. Ah, it's packed. <laughs> So this is the market at beach um, number two. They have, you know, the hats, some clothing, some bags, some bikinis. What else? Some shoes, arts and crafts. Cute shoes, actually. Yeah. And then this is going back to the beach. They have this is going the chin. Uh huh. This is normally how they do So this is how they catch fish and yeah, the on. Yeah. They form a chain to pull and then yes. catch I fish. <laughs> the way I am so random, you guys. Now, I decided to join the fishermen, okay? I don't want to miss out on any of this. I thought, let me join in to the chain to draw the fish out of the water day. And it was fun, but as you can see, I'm very unfit. I am so full of laugh fat everywhere. But it was a fun nonetheless. I enjoyed every bit of it. And they were so kind to let me in join them, by the way. Here I am dragging, you know, not putting in much effort. It was it was really nice. It was really nice. Right after that, I took one of the motorcycles heading back home. Now, if you know anything about how these people drive, it is just purely madness. There's no safety considered, no whatsoever, okay? Now, this is one of the most popular modes of transport in Salon. So I thought, you know what? Why not integrate yourself? Try something new. It's for fun. Even if it means you might fall off the bike. And trust me, it was a load of fun. And that's how we wrap up today's vlog, you guys. Now, I enjoyed every moment in Salon. Beautiful, beautiful country. I did a whole lot of random things, as you've seen. I drew out fish with the fishermen. I tried out oysters for the first time. And I really don't get the hype around it. For me, it was a big no-no thumbs down. But nonetheless, I really did enjoy this. And I hope you did too. And if you really, really, really like this video, do give it a thumbs up. And I will surely see you soon. Bye for now.